You're tracking what your lawmakers from near and far across Missouri are doing in Jefferson City. Hundreds of bills are now on the table and more still to come. The General Assembly is on day four of a session that ends May 13th. They have a lot of business to get done, addressing things like higher personal property taxes, inflation, and public safety. But what has people talking already are new laws to oversee kids sports. News 4's Gabriela Vidal hears from both sides of the growing culture clash revolving around banning transgender kids. For years, some Missouri lawmakers have been pushing to regulate youth sports, particularly among women. We've seen bills that say like only trans boys cannot participate in sports, only trans girls cannot participate in sports. This year's session presents a new challenge for advocacy in LGBTQ nonprofit organizations like PROMO, as at least seven different bills already being proposed aim to target youth participation in sports based on gender at birth. We have, I think, the most egregious bill of all of them looks at saying that anybody who is a kindergartner through um, 12th grade can only play sports according to the gender that they were assigned when they were born or that's written on their birth certificate. That bill, SB 87, is sponsored by Franklin and West County Senator Ben Brown. It's titled the Save Women's Sports Act, and it prevents biological males from participation in a female-only youth sport. And quote, no public school, private middle school, or private high school that has biological males playing women's sports shall be eligible for any monies appropriated by the General Assembly. This bill is not at all about discriminating against anybody. Uh, I, I harbor zero resentment or hostility towards anyone that wants to leave a different style of life than myself. This is just about preserving opportunities. It's about my daughters and people like them that put everything into going out and training every day to get, to get good at basketball and, and you have the opportunity to earn scholarships. 18 states have passed similar anti-trans laws, but groups like Athlete Ally. These are quote unquote solutions in search of a problem. Argue there's no proof trans athletes take opportunities away from others. Especially when we look at this specific uh, legislative session in Missouri, we see that there are more bills pre-filed regarding trans athletes than there are trans athletes competing. For other lawmakers like Southwest Missouri Senator Mike Moon. It's unfair for men, whether you have changed body parts or whether you have taken chemicals to uh, begin to alter your hormones, you're still a man and uh, women should be offered the opportunity to compete against other women. He's proposing similar language in his bill, SB 48, to prohibit trans women in youth sports. Moon believes they're closer this year to seeing this type of legislation pass, but advocacy groups say this could be a dangerous game. Because it keeps kids from being able to thrive and being able to have opportunities to learn how to be a friend or how to have fun or harms the mental health and of trans youth and like knowing their validity in the state. Gabriella Vidal, News 4. And there are a few other bills we are watching closely, including another effort to get sports betting passed after falling short during the last session. Stricter gun laws, including a new bill to change the minimum age to conceal or open carry a gun. And there is a push for a parent's bill of rights to allow parents more control over what's taught in schools. Stay with News 4 as we track these bills through the legislative session.